Let's have a look at the surface area of a sphere. Now we can investigate this by using what we know about an open cylinder. Now that's a cylinder without a top or a bottom. Now if this sphere was to fit inside, uh, perfectly inside a, a cylinder, without a top or a bottom, the surface area would match. So what's the dimensions of that curved part of the cylinder? If we can find that, that will tell us the surface area of the sphere. In this case, this length is R, and that makes the height 2R. Now, if we're looking at the net of this, uh, we'll draw a red pen. Uh, right, so that makes this dimension 2R. And what is this dimension if you think back? Well, it wraps nicely around that circle at the base. So it's a circumference uh, of a circle with R. So 2 pi R. That makes the area here uh, equal to, well, 4 pi r squared and that is the surface area of a sphere. Now let's go and find out what this might be. Okay, let's, let's say r equals 3 in this example. Well, uh, let's use our formula now. Area equals 4 pi r squared and we substitute that in 4 times pi times 3 squared it's going to be units squared um, now let's get an exact answer for this ok 3 squared is 9 times 4 is 36 pi uh, in units squared that's our exact answer let's just round this to um, uh, one decimal place so let's put in an approximate answer now again thinking what should it be well 36 times 3 okay a little bit more than 100 uh, 110 perhaps let's have a look okay 36 times pi 113 0.0973 and let's put this to one decimal place the 9 makes that close to 1 unit squared to one decimal place and there we have it our surface area of a sphere